Hey folks, welcome to the Outback Cooking Company and our Outback Kitchen here. Today we're out in our backyard. We're going to give you another easy, simple recipe to use the OG sauce, the old sweet and sassy from the Dutch Oven Smokehouse. This is one of my favorite all-around sauces. It's great for all kinds of barbecue. But one of my favorite uses is to incorporate this in ground beef or today we're using elk. that uh, one of my boys harvested right here in Colorado. We're gonna blend some of this sweet and sassy right into the, the ground beef here. And uh, boy, it just makes a nice burger. The elk tends to be a little bit more of a lean type of meat. Uh, I'm gonna give you a cheat lesson here. We actually did blend a little bit of brisket trimmings with our elk meat just to kind of make a better burger. So with the steaks, we don't do that. Of course, with this meat, we're we're able to uh, blend it just a little bit, get some get some more fat content in there, bring that back up. It's not quite as lean, but it makes a great burger. I love to incorporate sweet and sassy with that. And it, with that being said, it's just a pretty simple recipe. We're going to take this ground meat, put it in a bowl, and we're just going to add a bit of this. Uh, we've got about a pound and a half of meat, just for reference. And I'm going to add about a half a cup of the sweet and sassy. Depending on what kind of burgers you make, if you want to add some cheddar to that or some green chilies, those make great options. Today we're gonna make some sliders. And so we're just gonna keep it pretty simple, straightforward. We're gonna blend that up and we're gonna throw that on our black stone here. We're gonna to toast some buns, saute some onions, little cheddar on top of there, and Joe's favorite pretzel slider from King's Hawaiian. It's gonna be straight up and easy. These are fast. Uh, can make these in about 20 minutes probably at your house. So, there you are. Better roll up my sleeves. Might get deep in here. Another little secret, I'm gonna throw in a dash of our Chuck Box beef rub. Just a sprinkle of that ends up being about a teaspoon. Secret to a good burger, I thaw this out for a day or two in the fridge and I like to keep the meat cool. Of course you can thaw meat out in the microwave but it just doesn't make a good burger. It doesn't tend to stick together and and we get parts of it that are cooked, parts of it are raw. So it's best if you can thaw it out in a fridge. If you want to go ahead and put the sweet and sassy in the meat and, and pre-mix that, cover that with saran, and keep it in a nice box uh, for a day or two and let that marinate. Today we're making sliders. So I'm gonna make my burger ball just a little bit smaller than I normally would. The slider bun we're using is a pretzel slider. They're not a very big bun. I want that to hang over a little bit. We're gonna make a double burger slider. And if you wanna make these ahead of time, you can make your burger balls, throw those back in the freezer if you want. This is a lot better than it was last spring, Joe. Remember that? There was like a foot or two of snow I had out here. Remember how cold it was when you were doing the uh, meatballs? That was cold.
guys, thanks for tuning in today to Outback Cooking. We had a good time today. We did our version of sliders. We used a Colorado harvested elk here that our own family harvested last year. Super fast, super simple, elegant, easy to do. We used our sweet and sassy, made a campfire sauce out of that. Used our new Blackstone uh, griddle out here that the kids got me. Uh, fried up some onions, threw a little cheese there in the middle. I mean, who wouldn't want one of these sliders? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Even had a few surprise guests today. Might see those guys later. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you around the fire. So you're gonna film us taking a bite. Yeah. You're gonna do it all <laughs> at one time. <laughs> Gotta wait for Carter. All right, there you go. It's Thank gonna you. be a little messy, but that's all right. It's good. All right, I got a Three, two, one. Mmm. <laughs> I give her a thumbs up. <laughs>